Since 2020, online shopping has exploded with no signs of any slowdown. With this increased small parcel demand, shippers need to make sure that they have the correct systems in place and processes to meet that demand, but also make the correct carrier decisions to not let costs get out of control. Today, I'd like to show a brief demo of Western Computer's 365 parcel ship. This is our integrated solution to the small parcel problem in D365 FNSCM. 365 parcel ship is fully embedded into D365. During your order to ship process, you'll be able to rate shop orders at customer service to find the best rate or delivery window for your customer. You'll be able to release orders to the warehouse to accurately pick via mobile devices. Pre-printing or packing orders into containers and receiving verified carrier shipping labels directly from the system. And you'll also be able to track those orders directly from the sales order at any point in the process. This is going to enable you to throw out any third-party shipping applications you're currently using and streamline workflows for your warehouse staff. So what exactly is the small parcel problem in D365? You, as a shipper, need to provide accurate parcel shipping to your customers. However, there's really no easy out-of-the-box solution for this. So what are your options? Well, first, you could go with a direct carrier integration. FNSCM does offer a small parcel shipping feature, but this is simply just a framework that provides hooks for you to write your own custom integrations to your small parcel carriers. Microsoft does provide sample code for UPS and FedEx. However, this integration requires deep technical knowledge and usually means having developers on staff, on staff to keep up with constant carrier updates. Your second option is to use an entirely separate shipping software. Some examples of these would be UPS's WorldShip or FedEx's ShipManager. With this method, the carrier standards are going to be maintained by the software company. There's less technical requirements on your end, but integrations are typically limited to sending simple data such as ship to addresses or number of containers. This is typically because these softwares are usually older on-premise solutions with minimal integration capabilities. Also, using two separates simply means that you're adding steps for your warehouse staff. Order entry and order picking typically place, take place inside of D365, and then users need to leave that system and enter an entirely new system to prepare and print labels for shipment. Your third option is an integrated software solution like 365 Parcel Ship. Connections to common small parcel companies are already existing and verified. No coding at all is required, and the add-on is built directly inside of the system. So it already has access to things like your ship to addresses, product information, package information, dimensions, and weights. Because of this, rate shopping can be easily accomplished directly from the sales order, and shipping labels print directly from the system during your packing process. Parcel Ship was developed with all types of customers in mind. We're able to help streamline a standard pick, pack, and ship model. This utilizes warehouse management. Orders would be released to the warehouse, and users can accurately pick these orders with their mobile device. Once picked, the product is delivered to a packing station. On the packing station, users can pack these items directly into containers. As the containers are closed, Parcel Ship will take over and is able to provide rates for your linked carriers, or if we've already rate shopped the order, simply print the label and finalize your shipping. This gives you the ability to fully complete your shipping process without ever needing to leave the system or open another screen. Let's take a look at a sales order where we can see rate shopping the order in a standard pick, pack, and ship process. In D365, we're going to navigate to our sales order list and open a sales order. So we can see this order consists of three HDMI cables and it's delivering to an address in Pittsburgh, PA. 
The first thing we'll notice is on the transportation ribbon, there is a new button called 365 Parcel Ship Rate Shop. So from this, I can click on Rate Shop and a screen is gonna to open to my left that will tell me because this order has been coded to go UPS ground, I can see immediately what my rate for UPS ground is. Now, if a customer would inquire about other shipping options and what the speed and cost of those options are, we can simply change our parcel ship delivery mode from prompt to rate shop and then reload our rates. Once that is complete, we'll see a list at the bottom of our rate shop screen for all the different rates for any carriers I may have connected to parcel ship. So I can see ground is 1711, but I could also go second day air for 4476 or even next day air for 75. If I would like to choose a different rate, I simply need to highlight that rate and select my keep rate option and say OK. That is going to code my order instead of going UPS ground to go next day air. Now, when it comes time to release this to the warehouse, we'll simply go to our warehouse tab and release that order to the warehouse. And I can see on my message here that work has been created for my order. So we'll take a look at my work details. And we can see with my warehouse work, it has me go and pick those HDMI cables from a location in the warehouse and then deliver those to my packing station. So we'll go ahead and on our mobile device, log in. Then I'm gonna go into my outbound menu and sales picking, and we're going to pick this work ID. Our mobile device is going to tell us to put our three HDMI cables into the packing station and we'll confirm that movement. And we see that work has been completed. In D365, we can see that the work status is now closed and we've been given a target license plate ID. Now that my product is in the packing station, is when packers would take that and actually ship it out and get labels. So on my packing station, we can see that I'm assigned to warehouse 62. I have a packing profile, and this is where we can specify what label printer we want our shipping labels to come out of. Um, you also, with parcel ship, have the ability to connect a USB scale. So if you want to make sure that you get accurate weights when shipping, we can connect a scale and get weights at the time of container closing. In our packing station, we'll start by scanning that target license plate number or a shipment number. And that will enter me into my shipment to be packed. We're gonna select a new container and our container type is gonna be the shipping box that you're using to pack your products. So if we drill in there, you can create as many container types as you want and they all carry with them dimensions um, and potentially uh, maximum weight information as well. So I'm gonna pick a medium box and say, okay. Once I have a container open and created, I can then pack items into that container. 
On the identifier field here, we can use a USB scanner if you would like to scan your items. Um, we can scan item numbers, UPC codes, or any, any barcodes you might have on the product. Um, we can also enter in the quantity here that we'd like to pack and select our items from the drill down. As I pack my items, we'll see them disappear from the open lines. Once your container is full on the ribbon, you're going to want to close your container. When I close my container, again, I'm going to see my parcel ship box that will show me gross weight of the product. This will come from your, your product release product card. Or if we had a scale connected, we would get our actual weight at this time. And we'll see that this order is going UPS next day because of the rate shop that I did on that. And I can simply hit OK. Once I hit OK, that is going to close my container and it's going to print out my shipping label. So shipping label prints out of the system. And then via configuration, we can decide what happens next with our order. Um, we can either hang this order back uh, and, and post packing slips with a batch job at the end of the day, um, or we can post packing slips right away as I'm doing right now. Um, so all within your packing process, you can close your containers, post your packing slips, and, and make sure that that order is finalized right from the packing station. So once our packing slip is posted, we can print out that report um, and that can go along with, with your product in the box as well. We also have the ability to print something called a container contents report. Uh, that is a, another type of packing slip that you can have for each box in your shipment if you typically ship multiple boxes per order. There's our packing slip and that order is now complete and shipped. So if we look back at our sales order, that goes from an open order to delivered. And that is a typical example of a pick, pack, and ship process with 365 parcel ship. Now, increased shipping demand is great for the company's bottom line, but it also brings with it the extra time and labor necessary to pick and pack all of those orders. Um, we can see that there still was a decent amount of steps to actually pick and pack those orders as it goes through our, our shipping process. 365 Parcel Ship can help ease that burden, though, with our high volume model. WMS can be configured so that each order is run through containerization. Um, this containerization will fit the products in your order into specific boxes that you use at shipping. By doing this, we're able to accurately generate warehouse pick work by box. This also gives us the ability to pre-print shipping labels at the time of picking. By using a custom packing slip that we've designed, this, will, this report will show warehouse employees what items to pick from and where. The bottom half of the pick list will also contain your order's shipping label. This is gonna enable your warehouse staff to quickly pick orders and label them at the same time. A simple mobile device screen is gonna enable you to process the entire order with one scan. This is gonna eliminate the need for time wasting order packing and waiting for documents to print. Let's take a look at what our high volume process would look like. So back in D365, um, we're gonna pull up a new sales order. 
And there's one small difference between our first sales order that we looked at and this one. Um, so the sales origin of this sales order has been marked as an e-com order. This is my trigger in WMS setup to say that this is going to be an order that follows our high volume process. We're still going to release this order to warehouse, but the processes that are happening in the background are much different than the first order. Um, now, when we're releasing to warehouse, our wave is going through something called containerization. So if I take a look at our release process, um, we'll take a look at the shipment. And from the shipment, we'll take a quick look at the wave. So our wave not only created work for the warehouse, but it used a wave template called shipping high volume here. Um, this means that we also containerized our order already. So you can see in my containerization history that my items have been assigned a container build template. Those items were packed into a container, and then that container was successfully downsized to a medium-sized box. Um, so now I have a container ID already and I know that all of my items should fit in a medium-sized box. We've also created work for this order that looks very similar to our first order's work. We're still picking the item from the warehouse and moving to our packing station. However, one key difference here is the pick list that we can print from our waves. Um, this pick list can be configured to print automatically um, throughout the day or at the beginning of your shift. So when your warehouse employees come in for the day, they have pick work waiting for them, ready to process. Um, this pick list will let us know what the container number is that was created, what box type your employee should grab, what items they need to pick from the warehouse, what location they need to pick them from in the warehouse, and how many to pick. On the bottom half of this report, because we've ran that containerization, already has your shipping label printed on it. Um, so this would be printed on special stock that the bottom half of the page is a label. Um, so that label can be peeled directly off of the report and put onto the box as you pick. This picking list can also serve as your packing slip that can go in the box um, for what, what has been picked and packed. As far as processing this order, we simply have a one scan process. If we look at our mobile device, there is a menu option here for auto complete picking work. If I go to that, it wants me to scan a container number. Um, so that would be this container number right here, which is also represented by this barcode on the pick list. Users can scan that one barcode. It will have them check the values of what they've picked. Um, so this is six, six foot HDMI cables, three pieces. I simply select OK. And it moves that work to its ultimate, ultimate location. That one scan is all that is needed to complete this work. Um, we now have this work marked for auto completion, um, and a batch job will process that throughout the course of the day and complete the work and deliver that order for us. So a lot less steps involved in our high volume process versus a standard pick, pack, and ship.
whichever model you choose to go with, um, all of this is going to help with improved customer satisfaction. Whether you're paying for shipping costs or you pass them on to the customer, shipping charges are able to be automatically written back to the sales order, which saves data entry time. Also, your customer service agents are able to get to the order tracking directly from the sales order in D365. Let's take a look at the two orders that we shipped during our demo. From our sales order header, I can on the ribbon click sales order and we see a new option here for tracking numbers. Um, so as those containers are created, we are also getting our UPS or other small parcel label um, and the tracking number that goes along with that. So users will see that tracking number right here. We also have a link to the tracking URL that you can simply click on to go to that carrier's tracking website with that tracking number already filled in. So with a simple one click, we can get a customer information on where that package is and when we expect it to be delivered. Without ever needing to leave and go to that tracking URL though, um, we can via batch job request that tracking status from the parcel company um, at any point in the day via batch job. And that tracking status can automatically be updated to this screen as well. Um, so we can know without ever going to UPS's tracking website uh, if our package is in Ohio or it's been delivered or it's status unknown. I also mentioned that charges can be written directly back to the order as well. So from the sales order, if we click on our cell tab and look at our maintain charges, we can see that the cost of our shipping, 1711, has already automatically been applied to this sales order. Um, now that can be whatever type of charge code you want. So it can be um, an internal charge code so you can track your own shipping costs um, or it could be an, an external charge code um, if we're actually charging costs to the customer for shipping as well. So that's a look at the common models of shipping orders via parcel ship um, with our pack, pick, pack and ship model um, and our high volume model and a quick look at how we can improve customer satisfaction by having data at our fingertips um, all within our own system of record. I wanna thank you all for watching today's demo. Um, for more information on 365 Parcelship, please contact us at info at westerncomputer.com or by phone at 805-581-5020. Thank you.